Hey everyone, welcome back. Since I got interrupted during my last video of telling you how to start off, I decided to uh, start over again. Now, I always get spawned in the bottom right hand corner of the map, and if you just follow the coastline, you get to a pretty big city. And I go straight to the construction site right away. And everything you see me wearing, I got within the last five minutes actually. So let's take a look. I have a helmet, and I have an axe, which I love. I'll always go after the axes, even above guns, because the axe is fucking tough. I found a rifle in there because the first thing you want to do in this game, I'm telling you, is get a weapon. Your food can wait, your water can wait, if you don't have a weapon, you're not going to make it far. Now, fists can kill a zombie, but it's very hard, very difficult, takes a long time, and if you get one damage and you start to bleed, you're going to die unless you have a med kit. And most of us don't start with med kits. Oh, there's some food. Okay, so you have to first off secure a weapon. That's the main thing, get a weapon. After you get a weapon, then you want to look for a backpack and or food, okay? I found this backpack in there also. I've, I've noticed that the good stuff is generally on second stories of buildings, in buildings I mean. And you want to go to the construction site, like I said, for a weapon, construction sites for backpacks, and clothing. I hear a zombie coming, so I pulled out my axe. Um, the rifle I found, and I found ammo, here in this town. Ooh, come on, step up. Step right up. Win a prize. Ooh. Ooh, two of them, two of them. You want to one? Come on. Mmm. Mmm, come on. How'd you like that? You like apples? I like them apples. Alright, nothing on them, but I think there's food on this shelf right here. Yep. Wow, I'm doing good on food. I got a can of sardines and two cans of spaghetti. It's a good run this time so far. Now, there's somebody else in this town. I haven't seen him yet, but I've seen doors open. So someone has run through or is running through. And I should be a little bit more careful than I'm being, but it's alright. I do have a rifle, I do have an axe. So unless he takes a pot shot at me, I should be okay. And then after you secure a backpack, or a weapon, and then a backpack, ooh, glasses, put on some shades, then you want to secure food and water, which I find most of the game I'm playing is me trying to secure food. Not water, because, you know, pop and everything fills you up just like water does. And there's plenty of um, water things out in the world. Now, a good thing about the game, which they've changed recently in the patch, is you're able to open up cans now with axes, with knives, with pretty much everything that you can find. Now, you're going to lose the quality of the food a little bit sometimes, but you'll still be able to eat, and that's better than starving looking at a can that you can't open. All right. Now, just in the way of securing weapons, I like the baseball bat a lot, I like the wrench a lot, I like the crowbar a lot, axe is the best, of course. Now, if you guys get across knives, and you're like, oh, knives are cool. Kitchen knives, butcher knives, short knives, anything short of a sword, just walk over it. It's not even worth fighting the zombie with, because it takes almost as many hits as your fist does, and the zombies don't care. Ooh, vitamins. So you're going to get bled out trying to kill a zombie with a knife. Just not worth it. Just look around for a baseball bat. Axes are becoming more and more common, probably because people love them. But that's that. That's how you want to start off surviving. Uh, weapon, backpack, food, and water. Now after we do that, you guys are going to notice in most of my videos, there's a bat laying right there. I keep going to airstrips and airbases. The reason I go to airstrips and airbases is because that's where the good weapons are. That's where your M16s are. That's where your Mosins are. It's where all your good stuff that you want to get is. It's also where a lot of ammo can be found and military gear. Now I still haven't found a ghillie suit or anything like that yet, but I plan on looking harder. I still, in the amount of time that I've been playing, have not been able to make it to the Northwest military base. It's hard to get to. Things keep happening. Bugs keep happening. People keep happening. <laughs> so I plan on doing that in this series of videos that we're doing right now. And if you don't know, you do want to duck and look under stuff all the time, like there's handcuffs under here. I don't care if they're badly damaged. I'm still going to use them on people. Because stuff gets hidden under beds all the time, and you, you just want to be on the lookout. Well, that's a better pair of handcuffs. I'll take the better ones. I don't need two pairs. Oh shit, zombie, pull out the axe. Woo! He need to make a noise till. Oh shit! Ow! He got me. Oh, luckily I'm wearing uh, a hat a hat, and a coat. I don't know why the axe didn't come out. That must be another little bug right there. So he hit me and it hurt me, but it didn't, it didn't start me bleeding. If you start bleeding, you don't got bandages, you're going to die. Chopped him up. Of course, there's nothing on him. Jerk. Man, he was a sneaky little zombie. That fucker didn't make any noise. He just started coming up on me. I just happened to be getting those handcuffs and look around and saw him. Now, if you're in a building and you're in a hurry, you're doing like a loot thing where you want to get loot as quick as possible and go, go to the top floor. 
um, I'm always finding the best loot upstairs. Alright, so just gonna do a little gameplay in this city for a few minutes. Uh, as you saw, I do have plenty of food for now. What is this? 7.62 rounds. I think those go in my gun, actually. No, those are 51 millimeter. Those are 39 millimeter. But I'll keep them in case I find a better weapon when I'm at the base. Uh, it's never a bad idea to hold on to ammo. And when I get to a base, I like having the problem. Do I want to keep the rifle or do I want to keep the machine gun? Get a lot of different decisions. It's kind of fun. Um, i going to keep my eyes open, too, because... As you guys saw in my last videos, I'm not playing nice anymore. These bandits get on my nerves, and pretty much everyone I find is a bandit. Every now and then, somebody will not be a bandit, and you know, that's cool. But 9 out of 10 people in this game attack you on sight, or uh, kill you once you turn your back because you think they're a friend. So I figured that DayZ is not zombie survival, it's player survival. There's another one. Hey, zombie. Whew, game was glitching a little bit, but I got him. Nothing on him. I was looking for drinks, because I do have plenty of food. I'm not really worried about it, though. I mean, there's water pumps everywhere. I mean, not everywhere, but out there. What's this? Oh, it's a radar cap. I don't need no damn radar cap. So, basically, what I'm doing now is I'm looking for some water. Uh, maybe a couple extra rounds for this gun, because I think I only got about five rounds in it. Although it's a double rifle, so it's got a good range on it. You guys want to see what that looks like? Go inside this room and we'll point it out the window. Don't need the book, don't need the gloves. Show you guys what this looks like. There you go. Good old Hunter Special. Got the little red dot on the side on front. This gun is deadly pinpoint accurate. Love it. Just put the red dot on someone's head. You gotta lead them a little bit, lead them. They're from a distance. Let's see where that house is right there. You gotta probably wanna go about an inch above it because the bullet will drop a little. But it's 7.65 rounds. If it hits somebody, it's going to kill them. So let's take a look out the window over here now. Nah, that's not a good view. Alright. So we're gonna upgrade by going to the base and finding some better weapons. And then we're gonna go to a populated server and a populated city. Now the reason I stress populated server, ooh, hold on a second, 20 rounds of 3.57, those are nice to have. Those would be for a handgun, if I can find a handgun. Yeah, I, I also found on the game, it's usually better to go to a lower populated server while you're trying to gear up, because on the higher populated servers all the gear is gone, and everybody's full up and killing you and having fun doing it, because they have stuff and you don't. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. But uh, don't be fooled by the amount of people on the server because I've been on servers. I think my lowest one had six people on it. And they will kill you on site and rape your corpse just as quick as someone with, you know, 40 people on the server. Oh, there's another little bug I keep running into too. See, I'm walking now. That's sneak. And I don't know why it's doing it, but every now and then while I'm playing, the game will just put you on permanent sneak mode. So you gotta have to sneak while you're walking. It sucks, but you know, alpha mode game. There's some drink. You gotta deal with the bugs. And the only way I can not sneak is if I double tap my walk button. That way I'm running. So right now I have two modes. I have sneak and run. <laughs> it just started to as I was going up the stairs in this building here. It's okay though. We can handle it. I don't need to do much walking. When I'm looking for people, I'm sneaking, and when I'm going to building the building, I'm running. So it's good. Okay, let's see, we're going to go to Zern. Go this way. Alright, so, like I said, we're in this town. We're geared up, we got some food, we got some drink. And well, let's look through the grocery store really quick. I just happened to see it as I was running by. And it looks like there's some food on the ground. Is that a can of tuna or something? No, it's duct tape. Only no damn duct tape. Don't taste very good. This actually looks like a pretty nice spot, though, if I had more rounds in my gun. Come out here, look at this. People running by looking for the grocery store and stuff. Not bad. Oh, where's people when I need them? It's a cool sky out there. Did you guys notice that yet? All the different color clouds and see them all moving, some of them independently. It's raining out. It's been raining for a long time on this game. 
oh, it'd be so great right here. Somebody just runs by, pow, pow. Perfect. All right, so I'm going to stop the video here, and I will turn it back on once we're done running, and we get to the airstrip.